mature cataract, a translimbal entry is made to the entry chamber, air followed by tripan blue injected. Tripan blue, when it's infused within the air bubble, it stains the capsule instantaneously as the capsule is dry. Aspiration of tripan blue and air from the anterior chamber needs to be done with the Simcoe cannula. And then HPMC visco is infused into the anterior chamber, fills the anterior chamber, tunnel flow entry technique. AC remains deep as there is no viscoelastic leaking out of the tunnel. As you have entered the AC by puncturing the floor of the tunnel with the cystitome. The rexis is not central but it's intact. That's extremely important. Lignocaine 1% in the anterior chamber. Very little amount is infused behind the iris. Rotate the nucleus by manually using a 25 gauge cannula and a Sinsky hook. See the center of the nucleus remains in the center of the pupil so that you are not applying pressure on the zonules. It is supported by a mini wire vectus which is quite small in size and remains within the anterior chamber throughout. Nucleus is quite hard, it's not bisecting with the 25 gauge cannula, so I use the help of cystitome to score gently in the middle. And the cystitome is mounted on a 2 ml syringe, and the visco is being infused into the anterior chamber in front of the nucleus to minimize its touch to the endothelium. One half of the nucleus is removed, the other half is aligned to the tunnel and with a similar mechanism the 25 gauge cannula is continuously infusing HPMC into the anterior chamber separating it from the endothelium. The left or cortical and epinuclear pieces from the anterior chamber is initially removed and uh, as the cortex is lost it's fibrillar architecture, we need to go to every quadrant of the capsular bag to remove the left or cortical pieces, chunks of cortex, otherwise you will see them in the post-operative period. Iowell is injected into the capsular bag, in this case you have a multifocal lens and the complete cortical, complete visco aspiration needs to be done to minimize the post-operative inflammation. Even a small amount of cortex in the anterior chamber or in the capsule or bag will give rise to chronic inflammation and scarring of the capsular bag. Another case, air and tripan blue aspirate, deepen the chamber with viscoelastic tunnel floor entry a small nick in the capsule, some fluid comes off. I am unable to complete the rexis here. What I am doing is I am joining the half rexis by doing a couple of can opening incisions in the capsule on the distal side. Free the capsule. Stir the cortex a little bit too so that you know, you get certain amount of detergent in the capsular bag. See that you are not going to enlarge the uh, flaps that you have created to the periphery. Enlarge the tunnel. Form the chamber again. And catch hold of one end of the tone capsule and try to maintain the integrity of the tearing capsule by mostly sharing and some amount of tearing forces. Form the chamber again. Be very careful so that it doesn't run off. At the fag end, it does run off to the periphery. I'm not going to pull it too much. Just try once to retrieve it. It's not happening. 
then you just snip off the capsule with the vanus. So that area where it has run to the periphery is weaker area, so you'll have to be cautious about that zone throughout the surgery by manual rotation into the antechamber of the nucleus, visco, supported with a special mini wire vectus, bisect it. Yeah, with few attempts it's possible to bisect it with candle itself. I don't need the cystitome. Remove the bit of nucleus. And the candle, as you can see, uh, before entering, it's continuously infusing viscoelastic into the anterior chamber. Support the second half of nucleus and guide it out. The uh, guiding now should be uh, in a direction of the tunnel, which uh, and uh, pr pr slightly press the floor of the tunnel. As you can see, the tunnel has to be opened up with the cannula, pressing the tunnel floor and directing it in parallel, keeping the cannula parallel to the cornea rather than parallel to the iris is very important. It opens up the tunnel maximally if you keep the shaft of the cannula parallel to the, the cornea. Cortical aspiration, as I said before, it's extremely important and uh, inject the eyeball into the bag. As you can see there is a runoff on the left side and you should ensure that you are not applying excessive pressure in that locality in your manoeuvres. Let us see another case, a mature cataract, we already stained the anterior capsule with tripan blue. Keeping the chamber tight, deeper and non-leaky will help you in creating good rexes in every uh, case as much as it's possible. In the second round, I'm making it a little larger than what it was. Enlarge into 5.2 very gently. It's a shallow entry, so I'm, I'm very careful in enlarging the tunnel. That's because the initial entry was shallow, there is a short tunnel. This produces little more astigmatism, about 0.75 when compared to 0.25 to 0.5 in properly sized tunnels. Bisecting with the shaft by scoring it. If it is hard, then switch over to the cystitome. With the sharp tip of the cystitome, you will be able to break any kind of nucleus. Separate the two hemispheres completely. Even if little portion is attached to each other, the second half of the nucleus will get dragged and will rub on the endothelium. Bits and pieces of cortex is let out of the anterior chamber by opening it up and keeping the cannula parallel to the corneal dome and injecting viscoelastic. If you keep the uh, cannula right in the center of the tunnel, it opens up maximally, allowing larger pieces to flow out as you are injecting viscoelastic into the eye. Aspiration of the cortex and injection of the lens. So mature cataracts can be comfortably handled under topical anesthesia under special circumstances. The most critical is protection of endothelium when you are handling the nucleus in the anterior chamber. Continuous infusion in front of the nucleus helps in protecting the endothelium maximally. Proper planning and execution will give you a good capsule rexis and you will be able to implant a multifocal or a toric lens even in a mature cataract like this. Thank you.